So for this problem, we're going to be drawing a box. But there's a catch. Because now it's hanging from something. So this is going to introduce another force into the problem. We still have gravity, which is mg. But we also have tension due to it hanging from something. Um, this information is already given in the problem already. We know the acceleration is 2 meters per second squared. And we know that the gravity weighing down on the box is going to be 1,000 newtons. But in order to make this fit into our equation, we have to find out what the mass is and what the value of tension is because that's also a force that's going to be applied. So, our mass, or the gravity is mass times gravity, which is 9.8. Since we already have the gravity, we can rearrange the equation to be grav, er, yeah, mg divided by g, 9.8, is equal to m. So 1000 divided by 9.8 is 102 kilograms. And we're going to plug in all these numbers in order to find the value for tension. So, so tension, tension's positive because it's holding the box upward. However, the gravity, since it's trying to pull the box down, is going to be negative 1,000. And that's it for the forces side. On the other side, we have 102, which is the weight with the mass, the m, and negative 2 for the acceleration, since again, it's trying to pull it downward, it's going down. So t minus 1000 is equal to negative 204, and we're just going to bring the 1000 over, and tension is going to be 796 newtons.